Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and I wanted to show you a new heater that I've got, the Phoenix TH0500S, which is a 500 watt titanium heater. You can see it here in the middle, but it comes in a plastic cover. Um, I am still looking at my Triton reports. You can see that the tin is still high. It's actually went up since my last test, but more concerning is now I have some copper as well in my tank. And I'm not sure where that copper is coming from. I haven't found any smoking gun culprit yet. What I did find is that my existing heater, an Evo Yager um, glass heater, like I think most of you have, it's a 300 watt glass heater. It has some condensation in it. Um, I don't know if this is normal. The Reports online seem to say it might be. It might just be oil that they use in the manufacturing process. And I don't notice any corrosion at the bottom. I've definitely seen some of these heaters um, break and then they get water in it and then major corrosion in the coils. And I don't see that in this one, but I don't know if this is getting water in and then out as it heats and, and cools down. So we're gonna replace it just out of safety and to try to get rid of the copper in the tank. So I've always used these Ebo Yager heaters. They have a bunch of circuitry at the top. As you know, you can set on the top of them. So where I'm holding it, you can set at the top and then tell it to turn on at 80 degrees or whatever and keep your tank at 80 degrees. These heaters don't have a thermostat in them. So they're much simpler. There's less to break in them. The Ebo Yagers, they have all the circuitry at the top, then the heating element through the bottom. So we'll get rid of that and we'll show you the new heaters. So the difference here is that the Phoenix heaters don't have any circuitry in them. They are purely a heating element. It's a titanium tube capped at both ends with a rubber cap, hopefully watertight, um, but there's nothing to break in it. If the outlet that you plug them into, just a three prong grounded outlet, if the outlet is on, then the heater is on. And hopefully this being titanium won't corrode. It does come in a plastic guard for it so that fish don't sleep against it or something like that. The guard is just held on with clips and I just removed one to show you what the heating element actually looks like. There's a smaller version of this. There's also a larger version of this um, this one is rated for 70 to 130 gallons of water volume. My tank is about 280 total gallons of water in volume with the sump and the, the tank. So I bought two, uh, but they are a little bit undersized. I like to undersize my heaters. Um, I didn't last time I had just that one 300 watt, but with the two smaller ones, you'll get more safety, right? If something were to happen, um, and a normal heater were to stick on, a smaller one isn't going to create as big of a problem as a bigger heater in your tank. Again, these don't have thermostats in them, so you need something like a Renko temperature controller or a controller like an Apex, which is what I'm going to use to turn the outlet on and off instead of having the heater turn itself on and off. That said, these do have some safety features inside them. They have a sensor to detect if you're running it out of water. If you're running it out of water, rather than heating up and melting the plastic, who knows, it will turn off. And if it does just completely overheat, you plug it in out of the water and leave it on, and that somehow fails. It also has a fuse inside it that will, will blow. And if that fuse blows, it's not serviceable. It's just gonna turn off your heater for the rest of its life. So there's really not much to say. Hopefully these will work well. I like that they're titanium. They are pretty heavy. They're much heavier than a normal heater. Um, I'm hoping that this will resolve the copper in my tank and maybe just that little bit of leakage in and out of my heater was causing the trouble. Um, I'll take a look at the report. It is only 1.05 or 2.05 micrograms per liter of copper, which is a very small amount, but as we know, copper is very toxic in tanks, so um, better safe than sorry. And let's figure out where that's coming from. I'm also going to replace my RODI membrane. 
and the charcoal filters there. There could be some copper, obviously my house has copper pipes. Uh, there could be some copper coming in from the RO water perhaps. And if the membrane is old, which my membrane is, then um, maybe it could be getting through there. So we'll replace that as well. Replace the heater, looked through all the other pumps that I have, nothing is corroding that I can see. No burst magnets and no vortex, that kind of stuff. And um, the only thing I could find is that heater. So we'll see, I'll let you know. We'll do another Triton test in a couple of weeks. So hopefully this was interesting. I'm curious if you have titanium heaters like this. There's a few different brands. This is the, the Phoenix brand one. Um, but yeah, gets good reviews. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.